Ryan and David Holtzclaw wrapping up Jacket Bowl 24 tonight. It was all gray yellow jackets, final 63 to 20 Holtz. Jackets got off to a quick start, first possession of the football game. They take it down. They go 11 plays, 90 yards. Quay White going, uh, catching a six-yard touchdown pass from Trey Houston. And just like that, the Greer Yellow Jackets on the board. Yeah, you know, Van, they kicked the union kicked off the Greer. We fumbled the kickoff, got pushed back deep in our own end zone to start, and what a great drive to start the game by the Yellow Jackets, capped off by Quay's run. Union not able to move the football throughout the first half. The Jackets do get a, a Dre Williams 15-yard um, touchdown catch, catch from Trey Houston, and then there to end out the first half. Trey Houston goes in from 10 yards out. It's 21 to nothing Jackets uh, to end the first half, and Union County has yet to see a first down. Yeah, Union County only had six yards in the first half of total offense, and as you said, zero first downs. Greer just dominant in the first half. Jackets also get three third quarter touchdowns. The first one coming, Matthew Mason, the, the, the linebacker, gets that scoop and score. I know who's a happy guy, 22 yards out on that. Trey Houston then finds Quay White Holtz. What a beautiful throw and catch right there. I don't know how he caught the football. The defender was in perfect position, but Quay and Trey made a great play there. Yeah, they sure did. It happened right in front of me, Van. And I, I asked Quay after the, uh, in the postgame show after the game how he caught it, and he just said he just went up and made the catch. I really have no idea how Trey dropped it in there, but it was a perfect throw and catch. It was a beautiful big-time throw and catch. Nate Jefferson closes out third quarter scoring for the Jackets. A four-yard touchdown pass from Trey Houston. At that point, it's 42-6 to six Jackets. Yeah, just handling business. You know, they can they preach in the locker room at halftime to can keep up the you know consistency and not let down, and they sure as the world didn't. They did also three fourth quarter touchdowns. This time, Tyreek Smith, the big defensive lineman, the scoop and score from 49 yards, it was not going to be caught. No, he wasn't. Had a chance to talk to him in the post game show. He was extremely happy. He was grinning from ear to ear. What a great job! And he had a row of defenders taking him to the end zone. Zach Evans, 42 yard run for the Jackets, and then Matthew Huff. Finalizing the score, Coach Young said, we really didn't want to score, but I tell you, Matthew Huff just does special things with the football. That time, 25-yard run, 63-20 to 20 final. Who would have thought it? Now the Jacket Bowl's tied at 12, but Jackets of Greer take Jacket Bowl 24 tonight. Yeah, just a great performance by, you know, the entire team, offense, defense, special teams. Everybody played extremely well. Who would have ever thought you would hang 63, as you said, on Union County tonight? But a great win for the Yellow Jackets of Greer. Well, senior not here, so let's quickly just honor those seniors that are playing their last home regular season game here for the Jackets. Tim Eckrock, Tyreek Fleming, Gabe Hannon, Jacob Harris, Nate Jefferson, Matthew Mason, Matthew Pearson, Chris Quinn, Carson Radline, Richie Sadler, Tyreek Smith, Jalen Terrell, Bradley Thompson, Trebajie Ware, and Quay White. So congratulations to the Simpson Cars, players of the game. But again, we said 63 to 20 Jackets win. They'll go to eight and one. They, they lock up that number one seed, probably the conference championship region 2-4A, so they'll have a, at least a couple of home games here at Dooley Field in the playoffs. They move to 8-1. Next week, Death Valley North, a tough team in Blue Ridge. It's always a big rivalry game for the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, obviously, you know, looking at it on paper, you would think Greer would have no trouble, but we all know that Blue Ridge and Greer, it's a rival game. It's going to be a great game. Hopefully, you'll come see Greer and Blue Ridge next week. Make that short trip up 14. If you can't, you can always find us on AM800 WPJM or www.yellowjacketsports.net. Again, Jackets take Jacket Ball 24 here from Dooley Field tonight.